Welcome back everyone to our playthrough of the career mode here in NASCAR Heat 2. So we're coming off of a very, very hard fought and really fun race that we had at Dover. Our finishing position was 18th, but man, that was a lot of fun and it was a struggle. That car was dreadfully tight and quite frankly, not a lot of fun to drive, but boy, did it make for some great racing. We had to fight for every position, sometimes multiple times throughout the race but we came out with an 18th place finish and a lot of fun now we move on to one of the most unique racetracks uh, in existence and that is Pocono Pocono only three turns and if there's one track on the circuit that really punishes me for not running any practice laps or qualifying laps it's Pocono and that's simply because each of the three corners requires you to have a different entry point, uh, a different place you want to be at the apex, and then when you're on and off the throttle, all those sorts of things are different in each of the three corners. So it really forces me to spend some time at the beginning of the race when it's extremely hectic, just trying to figure out where I need to be on the track and how I need to approach things. So it makes things very complicated and I can't wait for it. So let's head to Pocono. All right, before we get the race started, let's take a quick look at the setup. And again, nothing new here. Uh, I'm using on the spring settings, the rear springs, there's 100 pounds of rear spring split. My guess is that's not going to be anywhere near enough to have this car uh, turning and rotating the way we need it to. You combine that in the miscellaneous settings with the track bar setting on both the left and right hand side of 8 inches. And I'm guessing we're going to have a brutally tight race car. So let's see how many positions we can make up with it. All right, green flag, and wow, what a start. There were cars everywhere when we actually got control there. And yikes, here we go. We're three, four wide, who knows. Going down into turn one at Pocono, so that would be what I would call normal. So no practice, no qualifying. We're going to see what we've got here. These guys are squeezing me. Yep, that's what I thought was coming. There you go. Just go ahead and put me right into the wall if you want to. That's no problem. This is your track. I'm just trying to get around. So we're back to the back again. And that took exactly, what, two corners? To get frustrated with the AI. got a good run down the front stretch let's see if we can get by the moving chicane in Kennington trying to give these guys room but wow that was a good bit slower than even I thought they were gonna go and he's gonna come right back up in front of me oh boy this is gonna get tricky All right, everybody made it through. There's definitely a lot of tension, though. All right, so the car is definitely very, very tight, and it looks like the real problem area for us is going to be turn two. It's tight everywhere, but I can manage it, I think in all of the corners except for turn two we are having a lot of trouble right there granted we're only on lap three but that appears to be our trouble spot right now we're going to still be aggressive three wide all over the place what is happening in front of us that's going to be yeah i'm just way way too tight through there i can't carry any speed right now but we'll see Hopefully I can figure something out. Let's try to get off this corner really good. Because if we get off of turn three good, then we get to pass cars all the way down the front straightaway. And I don't just mean one or two. You can pass four or five or more. Well, we are turning lots of RPMs. But I did not touch uh, the gearing. I left it at default, so there was no change there. 
We just got what we got. All right, now we're moving up a little bit. We're up to 27th. And we're coming to our dreaded turn two. We, of course, have a terrible angle in here. Okay, that was a little bit better. Still slow, but at least I was able to keep the car down. All right, take it a little bit higher on the entry here. And, yes, he's going to come right up in front of me on the exit. Appreciate that, De Benedetto. Oh, turn, turn, turn. All right, so we're up to 25th. It's so we're in good shape. Five laps out of 21, and we're up to 25th. Because of the way this thing is driving, I don't have any dreams of getting up to the top 10 or anything like that. I think we're going to be extremely fortunate to get to 15th. I, I think that would be a great day. Completely missed my mark there. Let's see if we can make it up on exit. And still come out of here okay. And yeah, looks like we're in good shape on the straightaway. Well, that motor is purring down the straightaway. Nice little run on Stenhouse. Yep, just could not get through turn two. We'll try to make it up in turn three. Good run off the corner. Stenhouse is going to come right across my nose. All right, not too bad through turn one that time. Again, the car is just not going to do what I want it to do, but. The idea is to try to get through there the best I can with what we've got. Yeah, I'm having to use brake through turn two, and I definitely don't want to do that. All right, you can drive it down pretty deep into turn three, even with it being tight like this, and still get back to the throttle very aggressively in the center of the corner. So we're in 22nd, almost worked our way up through half the field. Still trying to work on my marks and where I need to be on and off the gas, the brakes, etc. Still trying to figure that out for the way the car is handling. Turn two being the worst offender at this point. That's probably the best I've gotten through there. Not quite as fast as I need to be still, but... Yeah, turn three is easily our best corner right now. And that's a good thing because that's where you make all your passes is down this long front straightaway. Trying to keep my foot in it off the corner. Couldn't quite do it. A little too tight. Okay, not too bad through turn two. Not bad. Pretty good through turn three right there. You can see we're definitely coming in on these guys in front of us. 
I would prefer to catch these guys one at a time. actually drive it into turn one deeper than I am right now and I'm trying to figure out just how deep I can go without badly too badly overdriving the entry and really messing myself yeah I don't want to mess myself up too bad in turn one we're getting through there pretty good now turn three is where we can really go I felt the car rotate in the center there, and that was a beautiful feeling. And you can see now we're going to reap the benefits all the way down the straightaway. Alright, didn't drive it in quite as deep here because of Almendinger being in front of me. You can see we got a nice run on him. Okay, still not what we're looking for through turn two, but it was enough to keep him at bay and keep him behind us. Alright, there we go. Car rotates and we have a good exit off the corner. This should allow us to pull away from him. And you can see he's getting smaller in our mirror now. Ten more laps. So we're just past halfway now. There we go. Car felt good in that in turn one that time. Felt good. The idea is that when I get to the center of the corner, I want the car to be a little bit on edge, right on the edge of having driven it in too deep. But there's still enough grip for the car to rotate. And as soon as it rotates, I'm back on the gas hard. Drove it in really deep there to turn three. Car rotated great. And we're off and running down the straightaway again. All right, drive it in deep once again to turn one. Just a little bit of brake. All right, you can see I drove it in too deep that time. So that's gonna kill the exit. This is how we learn. You gotta learn what the car has got. Hard time keeping it down in turn two. At least a hard time without really lifting way earlier. All right, looking for a good exit here. And let's see if we can't pick up a little bit of a draft on these guys in front of us. We're up to 19th now. And this is kind of what I expected. We've set the car up to be really tight and not rotate very well. And that's exactly what we're getting. So we've got, looks like three cars for position immediately in front of us. Really didn't want to be on the inside of Casey Kane going through turn two and make it any worse for ourselves. Instead, I want to try to get us set up for a good turn three. Don't worry too much about the entrance. It's the exit I care about here. Okay, not too bad. You can see we got a nice, nice little run on the guys in front of us. Trying to stay off of Kevin Harvick is not easy right here. A little beating and banging. And we come out of there with the spot. So we're up to 17th now. So a top 15 is not entirely out of the question, but it is going to be difficult. I see Brian Blaney catch a little bit of the grass there as he went through turn two.
Oh, we're crushing Blaney off the corner here. His exit was not anywhere close to ours. Right, that must have been a good lap. Again, I don't pay any attention to the lap times during these races because just doing what we can do with what we've got. But I heard the spotter in my ear telling me that that was a really good lap time. So that's good, that's what we need. And we need those lap after lap. Now we've got a bunch of cars immediately in front of us. Not sure if we're gonna have enough laps to get to them like we want, but we might. All right, a good exit to turn three, and we're off and running down the straightaway. So we need one more spot to get that top 15. All right, looks like that's Junior immediately in front of us. And I can't tell about the other cars. Hopefully they're all lead lap cars. That's what I'm really hoping. All right, we're getting a little bit better in turn two. A little bit better with the entry, which sets up the center of the corner a lot better. We're definitely running these guys down. But will we have enough time? So we got four laps, and once again, I hear the spotter say that that was a good lap. So I like hearing that. All right, that was a good entry into turn one. Again, because what I'm that feel I'm looking for when I get to the center of the corner is that on edge feeling like I've almost driven it in too deep but there's just enough grip in the front tires to get me through there and rotate for a good exit. Pocono is a hard track to get that feeling at because of the three separate corners that all have their own characteristics. All right, let's see if we can get off this corner with a good run down the straightaway complete this pass on the 24 that will get us into the top 15 three more laps to see if we can make up any more spots oh yeah we get right in on oops sorry about that junior junior slowed down more than i thought and i got into the back end of it that is definitely not how i had planned to try to make that pass All right, so we're up to 14th, one way or another. All right, let's try to set ourselves up for a good exit. Back in the gas hard. A lot of positions right in front of us. All right, we're gonna drive it down in here hard. Trying to make the pass and okay we're all clear that's what i was looking for wow we might be able to get up into the top 10. all right this is a bad spot for us to be below ryan newman that's for sure oh yep could not keep it down there and so we're going to lose a couple of spots on that one but we do have some time to make it up All right, that was not a good corner. That was not a good turn three. Not a disaster, but definitely not what I was looking for. All right, this is it, last lap. All right, so I'll be looking for a great run off of turn three. drive it on in here oh my goodness 
I swear Ryan Newman was brake checking right there on me because wow, I had to get hard on the brakes to keep off of it. All right, here we go. Here's the run I was looking for, but it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Not quite, but we come home in 12th. And best of all, we had some fun along the way. Not bad at all. I'll take that. A lot of fun racing. I hate I got into junior like I did. That definitely was not planned. Looks like he lost maybe a couple of positions, so not overly the end of the world. All right, so we'll take our race winnings. Look like 127,000 plus the 140, and that gets us to 15 million. All right, point standings. As far as pure points, we are in second place, but of course, by virtue of our victories, we are in first place in the playoff standings. All right, we'll go ahead and head back to the main menu. So that was an interesting race. Pocono is a wonderful track to drive. Lots and lots of fun to do that. But boy, is it challenging with those three different types of corners. So up next, we'll be headed to Michigan. Michigan is, well, normally it's flat out. But because of the setup we're using, it will not be flat out for us. Uh, the question will be, how far toward the front can we get and how close to full throttle we'll be able to run it? All of those questions will be answered in our next video. For now, thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more of our playthrough of the career mode here in NASCAR Heat 2.